The federal government created a fake UAE website to extort Nigerians, allegedly. Let me explain. Recently, the Nigerian Minister of Information, Mohamed Idris, he announced that the visa ban the UAE, United Arab Emirates, placed on Nigeria has been lifted. Nigerians were rejoicing because it's up to three years now that the UAE placed a visa ban on Nigeria because of some little issues that Nigerians had in UAE that made the UAE government place a visa ban on Nigeria. Remember last year, they also announced that the visa ban has been lifted, which Nigeria later realized that it was not true. It was actually a fake news from the government. So this time around, the Nigerian Minister of Information, Mohamed Idris, announced that Nigerians can now apply for UAE visa. Everything was going so well until the Nigerian government presented a website. They said through that website, you can apply. Now, getting to that website, one of the conditions to apply for this UAE visa is that as a Nigerian, you need to pay 640,000 naira and you must have $10,000 in your account. If I have that kind of money, what do I won't go do? So, Nigerians raise alarm that why would the UAE give Nigeria such kind of condition? Is as good as saying that you do not unban those, just keep us banned. So, intelligent Nigerians started suspecting that there's something fishy about this website, is not really genuine. So, the Nigerian journalist David went into action to make sure that website is genuine and to know why the UAE government would tax Nigeria that high. So, upon investigation, it was found out that that website is actually fake. That website was created by a Canadian man and who specialize in generating or collecting revenue for government. So it turns out that that website does not belong to the UAE government. Upon further investigation, the popular newspaper outlet called The Cable reached out to the UAE government to ask them that why are you people taxing Nigerians this high? Why are you asking them to pay 640,000 naira and also have $10,000 in the account? The UAE government denied this and said that they do not know anything about it. That if you want to apply for the UAE visa, you should go through the normal process, which will not take you or you will not even spend more than 60 to 90,000 naira. So it turns out that the federal government government or the government of Nigeria allegedly created this website to extort Nigeria. Now everything is still allegedly. Remember this website that the Minister of Information of Nigeria posted does not belong to the UAE. It's still a fake website operated by a Canadian man who specializes in generating revenue or collecting revenue for government officials or government agencies. Also remember that this website was treated or posted by the Minister of Information of Nigeria. Well, as all those discussions are going through, the Minister of Information of Nigeria has not said anything about it yet. He has not come to debunk it or to say, oh, it's not UAE, it's UAB or UAF. Maybe they have the reason why they are doing that. Or maybe there's the amount of money they paid the UAE to unban Nigeria. Maybe they are trying to recover it some way or the other. They have a lot of explanation to do to Nigeria. But before then, don't forget to enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Okay, so I can understand for propaganda. I understand propaganda. What I don't understand when a government now begins to yahoo yahoo a citizen. I say when a government now begins to steal from a citizen, play, defraud, 419 citizens. At that, that is the height. That is the height. That is the height. At that point, confirm that Bola Metinubu and his gang of, 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 of officials are now yahoo yahooing Nigeria. That one, that one don't do is enough. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Because you, you you like you saw in that video, and with further report that, that you are going to hear in this in this particular video, it's now very distasteful. And then you cannot even imagine for once government won't play people Yahoo. You should understand that before now there has been a three years ban, stretching to three years ban uh, for Nigerians to be able to obtain the customary visa application to the to, to united arab emirates and then with the back and forth lies that have come before they have they have removed it they have removed it they have removed it suddenly a while ago mohammed idris the minister of information announced that it has been removed and then tinubu supporters all of them waited while hey, this looks good this time guess what the federal government minister by himself posted the website and said that is not the website to use we don't know why because how can the Nigerian government not be interested in helping the people access the country? We don't know why. We just felt make it. So some Nigerians began to go there. First, there is a 640,000 non-refundable fee that is excluding VAT and is excluding the visa fee itself. And you must have $10,000 at ease in your account. So Nigerians began to wonder. Whereas from the UK here, assessing the Dubai visa is 100 and 100 and plus, not even up to 200 pounds, for example, just just to be able to access this. And of course, if you know the value, don't convert to naira. If you know what pounds, 100, there is no, there is no, uh, uh, very few jobs will have you not have that money in two days. In, in a 12 hour shift, you are likely going to have that money even cancelled. Maybe small change left that you can bring from your pocket. So it's not even that. 
And then it took David Oden to go and research to see that the particular way. Okay, first, Nigerians now made the inquiries, and the UAE government denied having knowledge of whatever Nigerians are talking about. They don't have an idea of the website, they don't have an idea of the 640,000, they don't have an idea of the 10,000 uh, deposits that should be in your account. The processes for the UAE visa still remains the same, which we've, we've, we've used a six month statement of account and a couple of other things. Guess what? He took the, the video doing to go and research and realize that that website was was created was by a by a, 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 a particular person called john i think that's his name yes john john Geoffrey, who is in Can canada his job is to look for services that gov that can make governments calm citizens so if there are things that people the people are doing his job his contract, his proposal is to tell government we can make money from this so that the people can be paying to him. What does Tinubu, what does Tinubu want is that? What kind of government is he running? Guess what? That's the situation now. Scam your people. So it's not just enough to be fraud, to be legitimate. He wants to scam your people. It's not just enough to be inept, ineffective, inefficient. You want Yahoo your people. It's not just enough to be dull and 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 not knowing what to do you want to scam your people and so people are defending this rubbish you want to scam your people see this is not one good or bad okay now it, it, it for example that this this information is like oh we just want to have a place of having database and though because of that 150 why is government trying to show you see the problem when we've said this thing earlier a government got to power eh a government got to power to illegitimate means and they have risen to, to, to this level of becoming very legitimate. You came through the back door. You, you, you grabbed the ballot and ran with it, stole it, and then you are in president. So there is nothing genuine that comes to your mind. What stops you from putting it out and telling the people, look at what we want to do, and because of that, 150,000, 500,000, as the case may be, would be this and this and that and that. Why all this jubilee? So an individual from somewhere. And then tomorrow we'll say that Nigerians that are going abroad, they want spoiling Nigerians too. So the Nigerian government will be doing business with an individual somewhere. And the Nigerian government is not interested in making how much are you going to make? That this country resources do not give to you. At this moment, anybody who they support you will kill you. At this moment, will kill you. A bastard. Because at this point, you cannot even imagine for once how this government thinks. Nobody in this government that has genuine interest in the people. Everybody now, thief! Thief! Once come your people. So, so this here, eh, you get some things here, you will shock. You will collect money that is meant for treasury, that is meant for a project. You will collect money in various private businesses. You will empty treasury, empty, empty so sovereign account. You are writing for supplementary, you are borrowing. Now, you just once come your people. This one, eh? I will never forgive anybody. If I see anybody for this comment, we write rubbish, we defend this is indefensible. I will block you and follow you on your ass. I will block you and follow you on your ass. Because sometimes I wonder what they think. What is all this for? Since on Monday that these revelations have come, we are waiting for the minister of information to come. Gonna, their problem is David Oden. How many David Fuller do we? How many? Can't, can't you be ashamed? One year after. This can't move you to enter power, never left.